Today we're making taco pasta. Hi everyone, welcome to Black Cat Kitchen. I hope you're doing well. Today we're making one of my favorite childhood dishes. I was maybe 13 when I came up with this dish and I was so excited to share it with my family. If you love tacos and you love pasta, this is a perfect, quick, easy weeknight meal that you can throw together in no time. So let's get started. See the description below for a list of ingredients. To a large pot of salted boiling water, add 500 grams of fusilli pasta. Cook it as per the instructions on the package. Once the pasta is almost done, I'm going to save a little bit of that pasta water before draining it to help thin out our sauce. Today I'm using minced ground beef and chorizo for my protein, but you can use any protein you've got in the fridge. So if you've got some frozen mints in the freezer, perfect, use that. Leftover chicken, pop that in instead. If you're a vegetarian, you can even do these with lentils or firm tofu that you've crumbled up. As long as you're using about 500 grams of protein, you're in the right mark for about a four person serving. To a large pan, we're going to add a few tablespoons of olive oil. If you're using a high fat content meat, you can omit the oil. And then to our pan, we'll add 400 grams of ground beef. You'll just want to start breaking it up so it gets nice and brown all over. When your meat is about halfway cooked, add in one chopped yellow onion, and I'm adding in about 110 grams of chorizo sausage. If you like bell pepper, you can add in some chopped bell pepper as well. Once the onions have started to pick up some color and they're going translucent, we're going to add in three tablespoons of taco seasoning. I know taco seasoning isn't available everywhere, so I've popped my recipe down below in the description. Once the meat has really absorbed those spices and you can really start smelling the fragrance of them, add in two tins of chopped tomatoes. Just let those tomatoes cook down and get bubbly and absorb all those flavors and spices. In goes our cooked pasta and now we'll give it a stir until the pasta is coated in the sauce. Now to add in your cheese. We're looking for about 200 to 300 grams of cheese. I like to do half cheddar and half mozzarella because the mozzarella adds a lovely stringiness to the pasta dish and the cheddar gives it that nice sharpness. Try not to make a mess like I did. Now we're just going to add some of that pasta water and it just transforms that sauce. It becomes so creamy, it helps the cheese melt a little bit, and it's just so gooey and stringy and delicious. And that's dinner on the table in no time at all. That really reminds me of my childhood. I love how customizable it is. You can add in your different vegetables that you like, your different proteins. It's so warming and comforting and it's so easy to make any night of the week. so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below with your favorite autumn food. See you next time.